director of the NAACP is calling on national leaders to impose a travel advisory for black Americans. The organization wants to tell black Americans not to enter Florida, citing concerns over what it calls the governor's anti-black legislation. West Chief's Gail Pascal brown talked to a local business owner and the NAACP about what this proposal could mean. Nikki's Place Southern Cuisine in Orlando has been serving up succulent, soulful goodness for almost 25 years. They got Fermetta. They know where to come and get some a good plate that's just different and off the beaten path, you know? The owner says she's proud of their reputation. She's also concerned about a proposed Florida NAACP travel advisory for black people visiting Florida because of the governor's policies. It would be very, very detrimental to us because everybody who comes from out of town they really do support us in a way that some of our locals can't support all the time. Her out-of-town customers agree. We make up a lot of the money that runs through here, so you don't want that to happen, and it'll affect businesses. I'm a business owner myself, so hearing that and hearing how that could possibly affect this Black-owned business was just like, wow. For the last uh, few years, the uh, the governor has led what we believe is a strategic and a consistent attack on black Floridians. Marsha Ellison chairs the Florida State Legislative Affairs Committee and is president of the Fort Lauderdale Broward NAACP branch. The governor says this about the proposed travel advisory. We get involved in these stupid fights. This is a stunt to try to do that. It's a pure stunt. But the NAACP says the proposed advisory is anything but that. Ellison says it's like a modern day green book. So you make an educated decision prior to making that decision to uh, move to Florida, to travel to Florida, to send your kids here. Um, and so the advisory just does just that. You need to know what you're getting into prior to um, coming to the state of Florida. In Orange County, Gail Pascal brown West 2 News. The next step is for the NAACP Board of Directors to meet in May to deliberate and decide if that advisory will be issued. We'll keep you posted.